gotta start this procedure. Hey, anesthesia. Anesthesia. We gotta get this stage moving. This is unbelievable. We can't have a delay like this, guys. I'll call you guys. back. Amy, because we gotta get going. So what is going on in here? Come, come on. Can we start? And I've gotta get out of here. Robotic breast detection me, okay? He's 62 years old, hypertension, uh, asthma, nothing else really. Can, Jamie, your husband just. Yeah. They said your I husband just. I really gotta go, guys. Waiting for I mean, you. My, my son, he's in an accident. I don't know what's going on. Anything else I can tell you? I really gotta go. All right, time out. Patient medical record 1349821. Robotic breast detection me. Everybody ready? Antibiotics given. Anesthesia ready. All right, incision. Whoa, guys, guys, guys. The face is moving. This is on. unacceptable. Guys, we're going to increase the gas. Unacceptable. Um, increase the fluorine at 2%. Give us a little bit of Guys, we'll give, he's still moving. Right, we'll no give him five We're taking care of it. All right, so everybody ready for insufflation? I'm going to start insufflating. More. More. up to 30. Insufflation on. I need to turn it off. Okay, the tank is open. Okay, we're deciding. Can someone listen to the breath sound? See if we still buy a lot I think it's an oxygen supply problem. What's the blood pressure? Okay. The tank. Oxygen tank connected to the oxygen tank. Just give me a So what you want to do? Okay. Okay, we're on ambulance. We're on room air. We're on room air. We're on room air. All right, you turn on the tank in the back of the machine. We're from Montefiore Medical Center. I'm from St. Joseph's Regional Medical Center, Patterson, New Jersey. Okay, the tank is open. We're on room air now. So. Okay. We're on room air, exactly. You are on room air. Okay. VTAC, so start CPR, please. Does he have a pulse? Start CPR. Check the pulse. pulse. And it allows us to be in a difficult situation where you have to act quickly and think quickly. And you have, you don't really have a patient. You have a fake patient, but it's, it's good because you can see how your actions have a positive or negative effect on your patient. Okay. Can we get drugs ready? Can you call for an epi? Okay. Clear. 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 Everyone's clear? Okay, resume compression. Okay, resume compression. We have a hey, it's a great supplement, I guess, to uh, what we, you know, we can go through three years of residency in anesthesia and not even encounter any some of these cases that we, we can simulate in the lab. Oh, good. Can we, can we bring the robot back in? No. no. Like you said, they're very advanced simulators. Um, the amount of physiological data and things that you gather from them are way beyond anything I've done in ACLS or anything like that. So you just kind—I'm of, actually kind of jealous that they get to use it more often. They want sign at residence than we yeah. do. Yeah, it's, um, really it's an its a great it's a tool to have. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. And you know, I wish we did a little bit more than once a year. We're done. Excellent. Developed by physicians and engineers at the University of Florida and perfected by CAE Healthcare. The HPS is the most clinically accurate patient simulator on the market today, with exceptional lung mechanics and true gas exchange. The HPS breathes as a human would, with a self-regulated rate and tidal volume sufficient to maintain a target arterial carbon dioxide partial pressure. The simulator interfaces with modern operating room equipment, monitors, and anesthesia machines. The HPS lungs consume oxygen, produce carbon dioxide, and uptake or excrete nitrous oxide and volatile anesthetics. This capability is made possible via direct gas exchange within the lungs, resulting in realistic minimum alveolar concentrations. Ventilation of the HPS produces expired carbon dioxide, which registers on real monitoring equipment, such as a capnograph or respiratory gas analyzer. The respiratory system is capable of triggering a ventilator. Airway resistance, lung compliance, and chest wall compliance are modeled with independent control of the left and right lungs. Symmetric and asymmetric lung ventilation are automatically supported. The HPS drug recognition system uses barcode technology to identify the drug, its respective concentration, and its volume to quantify the dosage given by the learner. The system contains pre-programmed pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic parameters for more than 60 intravenous drugs. The HPS automatically responds to incorrect medication with no user intervention necessary. Muse, the HPS operating system, contains six patient profiles that can be layered with 50 simulated clinical experiences to create dynamic training scenarios, including tension pneumothorax, can't intubate, can't ventilate, anesthesia machine failure, anaphylaxis, and more. Launch a patient scenario in Muse with two clicks or operate HPS on the fly. It seems to me whenever anyone talks about high-stakes simulation, they're really talking about um, assessment and that, the, that that assessment will have a significant impact on the physician. 
We've rolled it into saying that all simulated um, experiences should be high stakes, whether it's for educational purposes or assessment purposes, um, which is why that we, we do use the equipment, um, the HPS equipment, because it really is the only simulator on the market. It's the only one that interfaces with the standard equipment that we use and the standard equipment that most physicians will use. Uh, we have a lot of participants coming from around the country, uh, whether they're coming here for an education or assessment, um, that it's clear that they buy in because the monitors are real, the equipment they're using is real, and the interface with the, with the simulators is of just a higher fidelity. It's clear that we have no alternative and we've always gone and always need to have gone with the HPS equipment.